Hello! Um, if you watched my previous video, you know I entered my very first swap, a charm swap. Well, guess what? I thought I'd try a mini album swap as well. And this one, again, I um, found on Life on the Scrap Beach, hosted by Irene Cordova. And it sounds like a lot of fun. It's a two-part swap. So the first part, um, you create a little mini kit for one page of a mini album. And this one is for, you're supposed to complete the mini album out of, out of coffee sleeves. So I'm not a coffee drinker, but 7-Eleven was kind enough to give me um, a bunch of sleeves that I could use for this project. So this is the kit I put together and I just wanted to share with you guys a little sneak peek of what I made. So of course I put a tag with all my contact information on it. Also the swap which is Shabby Chic Garden two part coffee sleeve swap. Um, put that it's hosted by Irene Cordova on there as well. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff aside and start with the papers. I've also included a piece of chipboard and I did that mainly just to protect the papers but you know what it'll be great for making covers and stuff like that so I included a half a sheet of eight and a half by eleven vellum. Um, we were supposed to include three three by five inch pattern papers. Um, I've included three double sided papers by Kane Company. Um, I don't remember the name of the paper line but I'll, I'll put a note on the screen. Um, so this is the first one. And I thought this was great for Shabby Chic Garden. I mean it's already a little bit distressed. We are also supposed to include two solid colors of cardstock as a minimum. Um, I've, I've actually included more than that. I've got just a basic uh, off-white. I've got this one here and this is a coordinations paper. So it's got a uh, different color core so you can actually emboss it and sand it. So I thought that would be kind of fun to play with. Just a kind of a pinky red color. Uh, it's kind of like a pale blue green and craft paper. And lastly, this one's a lot of fun. I included a, oh, it's a little bit linty, but um, dark burgundy velveteen paper. So this color is actually called wine. We were also supposed to include a minimum of two tags. So what I did was I cut a labels for tag out of another one of the papers and made sure that it fit in here nicely. I also included a couple of basic tags as well. We're supposed to include two journal spots so I just stamped a couple on some paper and then a minimum of one stamped image. Well I went crazy with the stamped images. So I've got, and these are all Tim Holtz and I stamped them in a brown, I think it's timber brown stays on ink so if you want to mist them or color them the ink's not going to run. This is from the new Papillion I think that's how you say it. And then I've got a couple of sayings here. This one is, in dreams we catch glimpses of life larger than our own and live in the moment and make it so beautiful that it will be worth remembering. Aside from that, I uh, included a few fabrics. I included a little piece of canvas. thought people could make a tag or whatever. I included this really cool gold fabric. I got it at Walmart. I don't even know what it is. But it's kind of translucent. So I thought it was kind of neat. And I also included a small piece of tulle. It's just an off-white, but it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. 
I also tried to include some things that people may not have or may not use on a regular basis, so I included a 5x5 five five sheet of brass foil. Um, for the ribbons, I included, mine are all 12 inches in length, so I've got this kind of ivory one, it's a little off-white, silk turquoise, actually not silk, what are these? Satin ribbons, got kind of like a moss green and a gold piece of lace, I would have liked to include another piece of lace. I mean, I have a variety of lace, but I don't have enough for six kits. We had to make six kits, so I was kind of limited as to what I could put in there. Got a six inch piece of flat back pearls, and then this stuff is really neat. Um, it's like an iridescent raffia, and it's kind of plasticky. I want to show you. Um, I have a piece here. And I started playing with this in the store. And you can pull it apart, and this ends up being about five inches wide of this clear iridescent type material. I thought you could have a lot of fun with that. A lot of things you can do with that. I've seen people use fantasy film and stuff like that, so I thought that would be kind of a neat replacement for that. Um, I also included some feathers, three different feathers in a variety of colors, plus I got these little, I don't know what you call them, they're three little strands from peacock feather. Um, I added some flowers, it couldn't be a shabby chic garden album without flowers, so I've got a variety of shapes and sizes here. And leaves. I've got a half a dozen leaves in here. I've got a couple brown and two different types of green leaves. In all the kits I've included a little butterfly pop-up sticker in there, three-dimensional. Those are by Kane Company. I included six die cuts. So this is a new Spellbinders tabs, and I just did them of a neutral craft paper, just because I wanted people to be able to use them on any page that they get, and I don't know what the paper lines the other ladies are, are including. These are also the mini butterflies, so I included two cut out of grunge paper in two different patterns. I got the harlequin and the distress stripes. So some some ladies got the harlequin, this butterfly was in harlequin, this one in stripes, and vice versa. And lastly, this is from the Tim Holtz tag and labels, or tag and book plates die, I can't remember what it's called, but I just included the center, thought it'd be a neat little pop-up. This again is on a grunge board. And the last little baggie that I've included has a bunch of little charms, and you know, yeah. So I included a stick pin here with a variety of beads. I'm not going to take them out of the bag because there's some pretty small beads in there. I've got some tiny um, kind of dusty rose and green beads. Um, I've got several little pearls in there. I've got a really, really tiny, I don't know if you could see that, I hope the glare is not too bad, a little tiny butterfly, um, flower, some spacer beads, and the pin I just kept with a white uh, teardrop pearl top, so you can color that with marker or whatever you, you like. I've got a little copper brad. Actually, I've got a variety of brads a row of these um, clear center brads, but they have a variety of metals around the outside. And I also included 
um, just some standard metal brads. I've got two of these pewter brads, and I also have six of the very, I think they're micro copper colored brads. Really, really tiny. This I thought is kind of fun. This little branch with some crystals on it. Got a Tim Holtz, I think these are Muse tokens. I bought these filigree squares from, I think it was Wild Orchid Crafts not too long ago, so I included one of those. One of the new Tim Holtz um, hanger clips or pins, safety pins. Safety pin, ugh. You know what I mean. Sorry, ladies. I just, my brain's not working yet. It's early in the morning. <laughs> Got a hinge clip from Tim Holtz. Um, I included three buttons here. This one's kind of got a little uh, flower on it. This is a light turquoise. This one here is a vintage button, just a clear button. And I include one of these guys from Seven Gypsies. These are fun. You can kind of clip them on the edge of the page, have a piece of ribbon hanging out of them, whatever. They're, they're kind of neat. Here's another Brad. This is another thing I didn't have a lot of was some bling. So unfortunately I couldn't include very much, but I guess a little is better than none. And we've all, well, a lot of people have stickles, so hopefully um, people have enough stickles to use. Included a length of chain here. I'm actually not sure how long it is. I bought this necklace that just had mounds and mounds of this kind of antique gold looking chain, so I included one strand of that. And these are three more items that I think people don't normally have, and I wanted to push people to use them and maybe uh, show them some new things they could use. I've got two coils of wire here, They're 12 inches long, one's a non tarnished silver. And this one is a 22 gauge, I believe, no, 20 gauge. This one here is a 22 gauge and it's like an antique bronze. So I thought, yeah, I want to push these ladies to use some wire. I use wire a lot, but I know not everybody does. This is a new idea I found when I was in the dollar store. They had these glass pebbles. So I bought some really small ones and some larger ones. And I know we all like the, the little baubles and stuff. Well, this is similar, but you can put your own image in behind it. So I thought that's kind of neat. And also at the dollar store, I found these packages, a sick of vials of the microbeats. So every, every kit has a slightly different color uh, microbead. But I thought, what fun. I've, n I've never used microbeads in my project, even though I have a jar. Of them so I thought okay I'm gonna push myself and also how cute is that vial you know um, you could use that as an embellishment um, so anyways that's my kit I hope you guys like it I hope the ladies doing the swap like it I feel like I've added too much for one page but I thought hey have fun we, we can use all of the kits on any page in the album so I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I really look forward to it. Have a good day and thanks for watching.